Hello gamers, it's Softkitty99 in Minecraft and we're at our shopping centre where we're doing our shop interiors so I'd like to move along from the ice cream shop and in the next shop along I'd like to build a butcher's and fish market now that might sound a little odd to some of you but it's quite a traditional part of the market where I'm from uh, so I'd like to add that to my shopping mall so I've had a little think about what I'd like to do with the shop uh, and I've thought we'll have a row of freezers along the wall then we'll need walkway for the staff and then a double row for the counter and a space for the side of the door then knock two out for the door and then we can have uh, some freezer banks along the edge of this wall here so this gives us enough space to build around for our door so I'm going to knock out those two and use some cut sandstone to make the door frame so we're going to come up one two three one two three and then we're going to put the fourth one on top and come across so the door space is three blocks high and the top of the door frame is four blocks with two blocks for the door which is too big to fit a normal door but I'm just leaving these as big open spaces to get through now if you then grab the sandstone blocks and just fill in the space above the door like that and put one row across the top of the spaces like this and then I'm going to add one row down the side here which will then leave a three wide window where I'm going to put the glass so that we have this huge open window so that people can see the shoppers that is can see inside the shop to see exactly what's on offer and how busy the shop is before they go inside it and then we'll have this just this one width wide window at this side so that if I can get it all on the screen is the front entrance to my fish and butchers shop so this is where you come for your fresh meat be it fish or proper meats Let's come down just a little bit and come inside. Oh no, we want to be floating. Get off the ground. Get off the ground, kitten. Right, and then our first two blocks I'd like to pick up the ones I've got here for my floor space. And then we'll go a quick run through the blocks that we will be wanting to use for this build. The interior of the shop is going to need white concrete and black concrete for the floor because I'm going to do like a checkerboard pattern because I think that's really good for butchers and fish market type areas. Then we want a block of iron for the counter and the fridges. Polished andesite stairs, I'm going to use that for the till. Uh, glass pane to put the fronts of the counters down. I'm going to use a spruce trapdoor for access for the staff. Use item frames iron doors for the front of the fridge and white shulker boxes to make the fridge type structure. So the first thing we want to do is put in a checkerboard pattern for the floor with the white and black concrete. So this will be a little bit fiddly um, if you think about the patterns. So what you can see I'm doing is I'm trying to make the checkerboard pattern um, and I'm trying not to confuse myself as I do it. Some people find doing jobs like this really easy and others might find that a little bit difficult. Um, do it in whatever style is going to help you to know what you're doing. You might want to do it one row at a time just to be sure you doing it simply and easily it might be a lot easier for a lot of people just do one one row at a time or some people might find it easier to do the entire floor in one quick go it like I said oh, don't put it on top see it's really easy to make little mistakes um, so just take your time and make sure that you're happy with it it's kind of a, a chessboard pattern isn't it but it's a very traditional floor based pattern for like public buildings and shops and things isn't it, this sort of checkerboard thing very very traditional old style of flooring and it's usually used because it's so easy to mop and keep clean for 
places where you need sterile environments and things like fish fishmongers and butchers is the sort of place where you'll often find that that looks really smart I like that I really do right so the next thing we want to do is grab the block of iron because we're going to use that for the counter space and for the fridges so along this back wall I'm going to want a lot of fridges so I want to make those two blocks tall and then I'm going to leave a gap of one and make another one two blocks tall and then a gap of one another one two blocks tall next thing to do is grab the iron doors and we want to, want to put that in front of these to make it look like a fridge door but I also want to try and make it so that the hinges are on the outside edge and the handles are on the inside edge because it just makes it look so much nicer so if you try and put the ooh, cursor to the side where you want the handle that usually puts the door on correctly so again put the cursor at the side where you want the handle and then come back and make sure it's worked and that's the wrong way around actually that's interesting because I thought that worked right so to put the handle on the opposite side that's weird I thought you had to put the cursor where the handle was but apparently you put it on the outside edge so there you go you've just learned learning along with kitty I thought it was the other way there you go that's interesting isn't it right now we want the counter space for the staff to work at so grab the block of iron again so leave them I think I'm going to leave them two gaps can I leave them two gaps for walking I think we can actually so we want to make the counter too wide like this because we're going to put the glass along the front one so that the produce needs to be along the second one and then over here we're going to want to leave two gaps for the staff to walk so we can take our counter across here and leave a gap of one at the end so that we can give them access yeah. so we'll leave them two to walk so we want to put our second row across there like so or do we actually do you know what I don't think we do if we remove those we can use this space for the actual till can't we so if we grab the andesite we can put one till there and one till there so they can actually serve the customers to pay, to pay through this gap over here and then we want our access point down here let's come down a little bit to make that a little bit easier and then we've got the access door there going up and down for the stuff to get in and out beautiful right grab your glass pane and run that along the front I'm using the clear glass pane because I just think that that's so much simpler makes everything perfectly visible doesn't it and viewable and then the item frame we're going to run that along that row like that and then across here leave a gap of one above where the fridges are and on every other one put a frame okay and then over this side grab the white shulker boxes and we're going to make this look like we've got some frozen produce just in those spaces there and I think these white sugar boxes actually look quite good as makeshift fridges you see I kind of like that idea so I'm just going to put four there I think just to leave a plenty of space for access for the staff and for paying for things so you can either come in grab something from the freezer and just come across here to pay or you can come in and you can order your fresh produce get them to uh, bag or box up the meat or fish that you want to buy and then just pay for it down here and that is how that's going to work so now we want to grab some produce that we can display so we've got some nice fish so how about some nice cod and tropical fish and cooked salmon I don't know the cooked I'm not sure about the cooked versions but it, it, it looks nice doesn't it I would have preferred to use raw one or raw versions 
rather than cooked versions. We can't use cooked ones, we need to use raw ones. I'm not sure I want a tropical fish either. That doesn't leave as much fish, does it, if we don't use the tropical ones? Hmm. I think we might have to use... Uh, let's use the tropical fish for a little bit more sort of colour. We have to use a cooked one. We have to pretend they're all not cooked. <laughs> and then some meats. So how about some chicken? And what else we got? Some raw beef. How about some uh, now the steak's cooked though. Some raw mutton. I want all the raw versions if we can find them. Raw rabbit, maybe. Yeah, that's, is that enough? Uh, what else have we got? Raw pork chop. Okay, let's try that. So what we want to do is we want to put in, put our different meats and things into our frames. So if we put the meat and then some steak and then how about some rabbit and some chicken and then some fish. Turn the fish a little bit there, and then how about which one should we put? I don't like the idea of the tropical fish. How about and let's rotate them a little bit like that. So then we've got our process. So here, come in, you can pick which type of meat you want, and then um, they will bag it up for you to whatever weight or specification you've got that you want. And then on the back, let's add a couple of fish and. Some chicken and how about actually let's have the pork chop because I don't think we put that on the counter did we or did we oh yes we did I think that looks quite good so these are the produce that we sell and here they are in our shops and then you can always pop some stuff in the freezer as well just to populate your to simulate your produce that you can pick from your boxes for when your customers come in and you can always add some more of the actually let's pick up the uh, can I pick up the frame no it's just going to pick up the chicken again so if we grab a frame again So if you put the frames just above the freezers, then you can say, look, um, this one's got the chickeny stuff in, and this one's got the meaty stuff in, and this one's got these types of fish in, and this one's got these types of fish in, so that you know which of the freezers to open when you're looking for that particular type of meat or whatever. And that is my little butcher shop. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From Soft Kitty 99 goodbye and happy gaming!